Hi guys, Knife Detector here, and this is going to be a short one. This is on a fish knife. You guys have seen a fish knife before. You might have seen these at pawn shops or, or flea markets and like a little bin with cheap knives. You know, these have been around for a long time. I think this one is probably 60s or 70s. Uh, as you can see, it's a lovely little fish knife. Uh, it's got two blades. It's got the main blade and it's got the scaler right here we're going to take a close look at that but first let's take a look at the outside you know when i got this fish knife it was part of a lot of four knives and i've already told this story showing on another knife from that lot but basically the seller gave me a really good discount on four knives and check out the little fish you can see the scales on the little fish i tell you what that fish does not look happy guys it does not look happy so this is some type of a plastic or celluloid type of uh, scales here. And I think that they've uh, withstood the test of time pretty good. So far so good. They haven't fall fallen off yet. Uh, they do tend to fall off on these from time to time. Check that out. It's kind of a pearlescent celluloid or plastic. Real pretty. When I first got this, there was a lot of tarnish around here and around here, both sides. I ended up using some... Uh, 2,000 grit, 2,500, and 3,000 uh, to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. But as you can see, uh, I couldn't remove all of the tarnish from all of those years, and there's even some pitting up in here. Check out the main blade. Now, for this being as old as it is, it does have a lot of snap. This is an imperial. See the imperial emblem there with the little crown? I think that little crown's kind of cool. Now, this knife is pretty sharp and i can totally imagine that this knife can be used to gut a fish uh, to clean a fish um see that uh, long nail pull there it's not very deep but it does get the job done still has pretty much all of the original blade over here it has some patent numbers gosh guys they made a bunch of these i think there's some uh, quantity or patent numbers there uh, they made a bunch of these knives. Uh, you can find these still probably at a lot of flea markets or yard sales. Let's take a look at this little guy. Did you hear that snap though? What a great snap. I mean, for a knife this old, decent snap. And of course, these are uh, steel springs and then you've got some brass liners right in there. The brass is kind of tarnished and it's a little bit uh, pitted as you can see. It is an older knife. It is a what I would call a vintage knife. Let's check out the scaler here. Now this scaler has a cap lifter. It has uh, this little tool for the hook. Now I've never used that tool in practice, so I don't know how practical it is. Uh, this scaler is not very sharp at all. It is a little bumpy, so I can imagine it'll be good for scraping. Uh, but you have to do a lot of scraping to get those scales off, I think. <clears throat> because it's not uh, very sharp at all um, but a lot of these that I've seen the scaler isn't sharp at all it's kind of like to push the scales out of the way or something um, all of the ones that I've seen of this type they're not extremely sharp and I don't think this knife has had a whole lot of use so I think they kind of come that way uh, Tobias Gibson makes an excellent video he made an excellent video on the fish knife and he, I think he even did a comparison in one of his videos with the fish knife and the traditional toothpick because this knife kind of does have that toothpick pattern and uh, I tell you what if somebody was gonna remove a hook from a fish uh, they would be better off some needle nose pliers than this guy but it's like the old adage goes right it's better than nothing right so I expect if you have this and you don't have anything else well at least you got that right here you see the long nail nick is only on one side and uh, but you see uh, the thing about these toothpick and these fish knife patterns is this look at the position of your little finger when you're holding this knife see how this is raised a little bit it's perfect for the thumb this over here kind of cradles your little finger this handle is just kind of perfect for a person to hold and i have a feeling that's one of the reasons uh people like this pattern of knife in the toothpick pattern uh that is kind of like the same pattern a uh, similar pattern to the fish knife because look at that how that and cradles that little finger and here this is just kind of lends itself to more support really like that about this knife uh, it's a pretty little knife uh, they're not very expensive at all you can probably find this uh, used probably for something in the neighborhood of like five seven bucks or something like that um, it's a pretty little knife and a useful tool right and uh, there was a time when 
people went fishing that they took one of these and they had one of these in their tackle box. And that might explain some of the corrosion right there. Okay, guys, so this is one of those knives I wanted to show you in that uh, vintage knife segment I'm doing. Uh, I believe this is video number two or three in those six videos on vintage knives I was going to show you. And uh, my, definite vintage, my definition of vintage is probably different than, than yours, but, but uh, I imagine a vintage knife something to be greater than 20 years old. So this is a knife detector signing off saying I hope you guys are having a great week. Take care. God bless you. Keep your knives sharp. Keep your wits even sharper, guys.